God. It is a great privilege, you know, to be a partaker in the service of God. And uh, I want to be grateful to God this morning for his goodness and for his mercy upon my life. For such a privilege to be able to stand here and share God's word. And I want to equally use this opportunity to extend, you know, my sincere gratitude to the leadership of the church. Starting with um, our senior pastor, Pastor Wisdom, the elders, the deacons, and the entire congregation. You know, for giving me the privilege to stand here this morning and share God's word with you. I'm grateful. And this morning I'm going to be speaking on the topic, Stop and Step Back to Allow God. Stop, step back, and let God. And our reading is coming from the book of Psalms, chapter 46, verses 10 to 11. That's Psalm 46, 10 to 11. It reads, He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted on the earth. 11. The Lord Almighty is with us, the God of Jacob. Is our fortress. The Lord God Almighty is with us, and the God of Jacob is our fortress. You know, from Bible commentaries, it is believed, you know, that this Psalm 46 was, you know, written, you know, maybe when the writer was living during the time when the children of Israel, you know, were facing battles and challenges and war, you know, all around them, and some. You know, on the other half, believe that maybe the writer himself was going through, you know, life challenges and, you know, personal issues he was dealing with. But regardless of the situation, you know, the psalmist here, through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, in uses the word of God to encourage, you know, the children of God, you know, to remain faithful, to hold on to their God, and to see, you know, to seek the face of God for God's intervention in their life. To hold on to God, to their faith, to see the hand of God for protection and for deliverance. And this morning, you know, you may not be facing a physical war or physical enemies. You know, but there are so many, you know, that are fighting battles in their families. Fighting battles for their own lives. Fighting battles, you know, for their children. Yes, there are others that are fighting, you know, mental battles. Dealing with voices that goes on in their mind. You know, voices of failures, voices of accusation, voices of shame and guilt. And this morning, God has sent me your way to tell you that you should stop and you should step back and allow him, you know, to take control. God is calling on you this morning, you know, to stop and allow God to take absolute control. In the name of Jesus, it is easy to be fearful, you know, when things are not going right. It is easy to be confused, you know, when faced with life challenges and difficulties. But God has sent me to tell you this morning to stop and look at God and see what God is capable of doing. And he is able to protect you from danger. This morning I want to encourage you not to try to do God's work, but to be still, be patient, and see what God is doing in and through your life. You know, sometimes all you need in the midst of turmoil and chaos is to step back and open your eyes to see what God is doing in your personal life. You know, to step back and see what God is doing in your family is to step back and see what God is doing around you in your nation and nations around the world. And this morning, I have come to tell you the word of God to say stop, step back and allow God to take absolute control. This morning... I want you, you know, to stand in the presence of God and imagine God asking you this morning. I don't know what the battle is that you have been fighting in your life. You know, I don't know what the challenge is that you have been going through and you have been trying all that you could, humanly possible. But God is saying this morning, I know you have been trying because that's human nature. When there's confusion, when there's chaos, you know, we try to fix things. We try to fix things. We become even more busier. But God is saying to you this morning to stop and step back so you can allow him to take control. And one of the reasons why God is saying that is because God has never changed. Our God is still in the business of changing lives. Our God is still in the business of healing the brokenhearted. Our God is still 
in the business of mending wounds. Our God is still in the business of saving and protecting lives. And this morning, God is saying, I have never changed. I am still the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And I'm here asking you this morning to stop worrying. Stop being fearful, living in doubt and concern. I am here with you. And I'm here to take control of whatever the situation may be in the name of Jesus. God has never changed. And he will never change. And this morning, he's saying to someone, he's still on the throne. He has never changed. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He is still on the throne. The Bible says our God is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He parted the Red Sea for the children of Israel to cross on dry ground. He provided bread for them in the desert. He gave them water from the rock. And he is able to do something supernatural for you this morning. God is our provider. He raised Jesus Christ from the dead. And he is going to ensure that you are saved and you are protected in the name of Jesus. All that God is saying this morning is for you to be calm. It's for you to be patient. For he is your provider. He never changed. He is your healer. He never changed. He's your protector and your deliverer. He never changed. He doesn't matter the situation around you. He is still the same God. And he is going to ensure that, you know, to see you through. He's going to ensure that you are kept. He's going to ensure that you are reserved. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you the glory because you are good. We thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Jesus. Our God never changed. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Lord, we give you all the praises, Lord. We thank you. And God is asking you this morning to stop because he is with you. You know, you are not alone in this moment of crisis. You are not alone in this moment of confusion. You are not alone in this moment of trials. Though sometimes you may feel that you are alone. In isolation, you are feeling lonely. But God is saying... I am with you. In the book of Deuteronomy, the Bible says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. And if you could let me to put it this way for you this morning, the Bible is saying, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid because of what's happening around you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid by what you are experiencing now. Be strong and courageous. Do not worry about the rumors that are going around you. Be strong and courageous. You know, for the Lord your God is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is with you on this journey. And his promises are yes and amen. God is good. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are faithful, Lord. In the name of Jesus. He is with you on this journey. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Though you may be feeling lonely, though you may be going through a hard time and challenging moment, but God is saying this morning, I am with you. I am seated right with you. I am even closer than the friend that you can think of. I am right there with you in that situation, in that troubled water. You know, this other day speaking to the prophet Isaiah, he says, even when you go through the waters, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flame will not set you ablaze. As I was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the lake of fire, in the furnace of fire, I am with you. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, we give you all the glory. That's what God is saying this morning. It doesn't matter how tough the situation may be right now, but He is with you. You are not alone. God is with you. And He's going to ensure that you, know, you get to the other side of the lake safe. He is going to take you because He is God. All He wants you to do is to be still and know that He is God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we give you all the glory, Father, because you are faithful, Lord. We thank you, Father, this morning because you are glorious, Lord. Father, we bless you, Lord, Father. We thank you, Lord, Father, because you are able, Lord. We give you the glory, Jesus. God wants you to stop and step back this morning because he is at work. You know, God is working something beautiful out of this situation. 
God is working something good out of the trials and the situations that you may be going through. God is working something beautiful out of the mess that you may be experiencing right now. There is a testimony that God is preparing out of that mess. And you're going to come out on the other side victorious. God is preparing something beautiful out of that mess. And God wants you to be still, to step back and know that he is in control, he is in charge, he is working. You know, sometimes you may not understand it, sometimes you may not see it, but one thing is for sure, God is at work because the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8 from verses 28, that in all things God work together for good of those that love him and those that are called according to his purpose. God is working in all this situation, even though things may seem very bad and tough, but God is at work. Father, we give you the glory because you are good. We thank you, Jesus. Father, for we know that you are in control, our Father. And this morning we come as your children, Father, believing that you are at work. It doesn't matter what's happening around us. Father, we know that you are at work. And Lord, we give you the praises because you are in control. Father, we are not going to fear. We are not going to doubt ourselves, Lord. We are not going to lose our hope in you, Lord, Father. Because we know that you are in control, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Father, we bless you, Lord. The songwriter say, even though I may not see it, but God is working. Even though I may not understand, I may not feel it, but you are working for you never stop and you never stop working. Even though I may not see it, but you are working. Even I may not understand it, but you are working for you never stop and you never stop working. And this morning, I don't know what the situation may be. I don't know what you are going through, but God is saying to you that he is at work. You may not see it, but he is at work. You may not understand it, but he's at work. And he's in charge of the situation. He's in charge of what you are going through. Your life is under his control. You are not by yourself. You are not alone in this. He is with you. And that's why he says, be still and know that I am God. I am here to take you through. I'm here to protect you. I'm here to lead you. Father, we give you all the glory, Father. We praise you, Lord. Because there is none like you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We give you praises because you are faithful, Lord. We thank you, Lord, Father. We honor you, Father. You take absolute control, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we give you praises. God is working. God is working on something new. God is working in your life. It doesn't matter what's happening. He is in control. He is changing situations. He is in control. He's making something beautiful out of your life because the Bible says in all things, God is working together for the good of those that love him and those that are called according to his purpose. God is still in control. Things may seem difficult. Things may seem hard. But God is in control. And the power of the Holy Spirit is in charge over your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Spirit, we thank you because you are faithful, Lord. Father, we know that things are working for our good. Things are working. Father, for our good, all things are working for our good. The mess may be there, but Father, we know that in the mess, something good is coming out. You are preparing a testimony for us, Jesus. Father, we give you the glory because you are faithful, Lord. We praise you, Father, because you are good, Father. To you be all the glory, honor, and adoration, so Lord. And this morning, wherever you are, you may be in your house. You may be at work and... You know, listening to us, God is saying to you this morning, I don't know the battles that you may, you may have been fighting. I don't know the challenges that you may have been going through. But I'm here this morning to tell you for you to stop and step back and allow God to take control. God wants you to stop, step back and allow him to take control. Because he is God and there is none like him. Because he is God, he's still in the business of doing things. He's still in the business of changing lives. He's still in the business of transforming souls in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father. We give you the glory, Father. In the name of Jesus. We give you praises, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 
Holy Spirit, we worship you, Lord, because you are good. We give you the glory, Father, because you are good. We give you the glory, Father, because you are good. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This morning, even before, you know, I take my seat, I want to encourage you to fix your eyes on Jesus. To fix your eyes on Jesus, for he is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. And this morning, even though the wind may be, you know, blowing around us, the storm may be rising, but he is in control. He is with us on the boat. He is with us right in this situation and all that he is asking for us, for us not to lose hope, but to keep our eyes focused on him this morning. To keep our eyes focused on him, for he is in charge. He is in control. He is in charge and he is in control. I want you to, at this moment, to close your eyes for, you know, for a few seconds and stand before the presence of God. Even as we sang the song, God is here and he is moving. This is not about your children. This is not about your husband or your wife. This moment, this is about you being in the presence of God. And God is saying, God is asking you, will you allow me this morning to take over? Will you step back this morning and allow me to take control? Will you step back this morning and let me be God and do what I am able to do? Will you step back this morning and allow me to lead you through this? Will you allow the Holy Spirit to take over right now? To take over your life? To take over your life? Even though you may not understand what's happening around you, you may not even feel like God is in control. But this morning he is saying, trust me, I am in control. Trust me, I am in charge. And I am here. If only you can give me a chance to take over. You have been trying. You have been struggling. You have been fighting this on your own. But allow me this morning to take over. Holy Spirit, we give you the praises of God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. And at this moment, I can feel God is speaking to a woman at this moment. You know, God sees your tears. And you have been crying your heart out. You know, in the night when everyone is sleeping and you are busy crying, you are in pain. You are crying and no one knows, no one understands what you are going through. It's only you and God. And you are going through that pain. You're going through that pain. And you cry, you cry at night. Every night you are crying, you are crying. And God is asking you this morning, will you stop crying and allow me to take over? Will you stop crying and allow me to take over? Will you stop crying and allow me to take over? I am ready. I can see your tears. I'm ready to wipe away your tears and intervene in that situation. Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord. We give you the glory. God is wiping those tears away. God is healing the pain. It may be a childhood memory. Maybe abuse, maybe voices, things that have been said about you. The name calls, and God is saying this morning, wipe your tears. Allow me to take over. And if you are that person this morning, I know you are watching online, or it may be someone here this morning. I know we don't normally do this one, but you know, the elders, the deacons, and the pastor, they are, you know, in their homes, they are, some of them are here with us. You know, just take a phone this morning. It is not for you to explain what it is. It is not for you to tell them what it is. All God wants you to do this morning. If he wants you to join your faith with theirs and they're going to pray with you. Right over the phone. I know we don't normally do this one. But I feel the Holy Spirit leading me. You know, for you, you are going through that. You have been crying and God is saying, I want to do it this morning. I want to wipe away your tears. 
Just take that step of faith. Just take the phone. And please, pastors, elders, and deacons, I plead with you. We are in service. Just take the phone and just pray with them. Just believe with them and ask God to wipe away their tears. And God is going to visit them this morning. And there is someone you have been praying for the fruit of the womb. You have been praying for a child. And God is saying this morning, I have, hear, I have heard your cry. I'm going to visit you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This is the moment. Just make that phone call to one of the pastors, the deacons, the elders. And he's going to visit you this morning. They're going to pray with you. Believe in God for a move in your life. Believe in God for a transformation in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you the glory because you are a good God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray for your children at this moment. Whosoever they may be, Father, I pray for your grace, O oh Lord, over their lives in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I pray for each and every one of us, O oh Lord. Father, we know the situations that we find ourselves in, O oh Lord. We're fighting internal battles. Oh Lord. And Father, we fight in external battles, oh Lord. But this morning, I pray for every member of the church, O oh Lord, Father, for everyone listening and hearing my voice. Holy Spirit, strengthen them in the name of Jesus. I pray for the peace of God over their lives in the name of Jesus. I pray for the peace of God over their lives in the name of Jesus. And I take authority over the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we worship you, Lord. We give you all the glory, honor, and adorations. We thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. We honor you, Jesus. To you be all the praises, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Be praised, Lord. Receive the glory. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. In Jesus' name.